come out and defend much better, which um, you know, I thought was our, our best um, effort of execution uh, on the defensive end. Offensively, again, we, uh, we shared the ball much better, took better shots, and it resulted in much uh, higher shooting percentage for us. Max, uh, specifically, but worked on defense, Coach said, was that you guys got a lot of seals, breakaways tonight. Was that part of what you guys worked on the last few days? Oh, yes, sir. Leading up to the game, you know, we put a lot of work on defensive end, and it all just translated to the game. So it was all planned. Did you guys make an effort to uh, focus in on guarding Antonio Green? He had a really good shooting game against Lips, go to 30. Um, it was over his first seven tonight. Uh, I'm sorry for the coach and then you guys as well. Well, I'll let these guys go, and then I'll I can get it. Yes, sir. One, of the, um, one of the key points for um, Coach Zhu pointed that out that he was their um, leading scorer, um, shooting twice as anybody else on the team. So we just kind of just keyed on him on our offense and didn't let him get off. Matthew, you shot the three well tonight. Is that something? I, I know you've kind of got that already, but have you been wanting to kind of flex that a little more? Um, you know, Coach Drew and uh, Coach D. Lord of the summer, you know, working my jump shot, you know, needed a lot of work. Um, I didn't shoot it you know, in the past of my career, um, shoot as well. And, uh, Coach, you, Coach, Coach, you must faith in me, you know, to, to take them and make them, and um, I just you know, I keep putting the work and it'll keep getting better. Your role seems to be increasing. Do you feel like that's just conditioning, getting into the flow of things? Uh, yeah, you know, Coach Drew, you know, he just uh, tells me, you know, I just just got cleared like two weeks ago, you know, so all I gotta do is just, you know, just stay positive, you know, stay the course, you know, try to be a leader and uh, help help the other guys out, the young guys out, and uh, just uh, help us win as best I can. Max, I know you didn't expect to be playing a lot of points probably coming into the season. You've played it at practice. You're playing it now some. How do you feel about that? Where are you in kind of getting used to that some? Um, actually, before I come to the season, Coach Drew and uh, Coach Deeper actually had me running and winning practice. So I kind of feel comfortable at it. You know, I'm still getting better at it every day in practice. So each game, I feel like my time is coming at the one. So I'm just getting better at it. Right, so I think you, Max was plus 31 with about 10 points left in the, or 10 minutes left. What was – what were some things he was maybe doing that didn't show up in a box score? Do, do, and should I go ahead and answer now? I'm sorry, should get these guys out? Uh, yeah, let's do, do, do you care? I'll, 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 I'll come back sure. both okay. so these guys can get out of here. Yeah. Any more questions for the guys? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Matt, when you took that loss in Miami, and what was kind of the mood of the team? What did you guys talk about on the way back in the next couple of days of practice? Um, you know, it was a, a tough loss, not because we lost, but because of the effort. And that was the biggest thing for us. And, um, you know, this win and you know what you saw tonight is 100% goes to the coaching staff. You know they prepared for this and, um, and they uh, got us ready. We knew that we needed to come out with effort and uh, energy because uh, Middle Tennessee is a good team. I made a lot of shots tonight, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you guys shot 18 and 19 from the line tonight. Had struggled a little bit in the past few games from the line. Was that a point of emphasis in practice this week? Uh, yeah, huge point of emphasis. Um, you know, in practice we shot a lot of them. And, uh, it needs to be better and it's gotten better and it will. So I'll go back green. Um, yes, for sure. You know, we we uh, we saw the list of film, and he scored. You know, all over the place. He's very explosive offensively. So you know, we we you know tried to make it when he did score as tough as possible. And you know, he, we even did. We thought a really good job in the eighteen. So shows what good offensive player he is. With Max, again, he's been you know excellent since Darius has gone down. You know, he stepped right into the point guard and. He's given us, you know, big minutes, and today we played he and Saban together, which I think they played really well together. But, um, you know, him stepping up and, and making solid plays and defending well has been a big boost for us. Seemed like more focused effort tonight, both ends of the floor, maybe fewer bad shots, more careful with the ball until late, better defense. Just where have you guys made strides in terms of focus? You know, everything you, you just said, um, again, we're, we're a pretty inexperienced team, and you know, we're learning how to play again without someone that's been there the whole year for us. And so it is a process and will continue to be a process. But um, the guys, they took what we had practiced and they, they tried the best they could in the game. I thought they were a little tentative the first, you know, five to ten minutes because they were trying to, you know, execute a game plan. But as they stayed focused, they, they developed more freedom within that focus and started to make plays. Exam putting in the game plan without Darius now, is that just a week by week kind of reinserting things? No, you, you know, um, I mean, we're going to be, we had a certain identity with him, and, and, you know, this team will develop their own identity. And hopefully no one else, you know, gets injured, but they do, it might be a different identity again. Just because when you take out a very key piece, you're not going to be the same, and it's not going to be a one-for-one -one switch. So, 
Um, you know, we have, to, we have to get much better in other areas, um, which we did tonight. We took a step up on defense in our shot selection, and those are two that will continue to improve. You do have length with this lineup. Did you remind the guys maybe the last few days defensively to, to use that? We've been talking that since the summer. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's building habits. And, you know, as guys hopefully are in the program more, you know, that will become natural to them. And, and right now, you know, doing that, a lot of yelling on the sidelines, trying to get their hands up. And uh, hopefully, you know, by the end of the season, it just becomes part of who we are. So how, how should they use that? Just, just clocking up passing lanes, that sort of thing? How all of the above. Yeah, you know, on the ball, you know, off the ball, when they shoot. Um, you know, length is such an advantage on defense. And you know, like you said, we some guys that have some great length. So the more we can use it, the better it'll help us. Coach, 18 or 19 from foul line. What do you think, man, so good there? You, you know, they, they, like uh, Matt said, they put in um, a lot of time. Uh, we've been designating a lot of time during practice to make sure they're, they're getting a lot of free throws in. And it boils down to them just with focus and confidence. And um, they were a lot more confident at the free throw line tonight than they have been. You've got, you've got 12 days to your next game. How, final exam's in there, too. But how do you want to utilize that to continue to develop this identity? Yeah, you, you know, um, first exams are, you know, they're, they're, they're a lot of work here. And so our guys have a lot of study groups, a lot of practices, and we're going to adjust around them to make sure we can get in our practice time. Like I told them, it is scientifically proven that exercise helps, you know, it helps your studying. So um, we won't run them, you know, too much, but um, we will get some practice time. Aaron had a really good all-around game, had a couple of big defensive plays and played the block. It's just talk about how you felt he played tonight. Yeah, you, you know, we, we, we love Aaron's ability to defend, his ability to rebound. You know, he, he had eight rebounds uh, tonight. And, um, and obviously he's a really good shooter. You know, one thing we'd like to, to get him some more looks and, and hopefully we'll, we'll find a way to be able to give him some more looks uh, in our upcoming games. Coach, you talked about a couple weeks ago about how having Darius back on the bench would kind of energize this team. Mm -hmm. Do you think it did that tonight? Definitely. Um, you know, just his presence, again, so energetic. And our guys are very close. You know, they've developed a, a very close relationship just over the summer and fall. So seeing him there, I think, it's made some guys relax. Um, again, when he talks to him a little bit during, you know, timeouts or huddles or on the bench, you know, again, I think it, uh, it just helps with our chemistry. Simi had a, his second foul, I think, in the 17-30 mark, and coming back in at about 12-30 mark. Uh, he only had one more foul, and he ended up the two points. Just talk about taking that game. You, you know, every coach has a different philosophy, you know, on the two fouls. And, you know, my philosophy is I'm going to play them. And hopefully they can they can play with it. You know, one thing is I never want one of our you know better players just to sit and watch if, if the game's not going well. I'd rather lose and have them fall out. And so that's kind of you know just my philosophy. I think we played about we about the eight minute mark we brought them back out. I think, but um, but you know I'll, I'll do that probably all year if it happens. Simi hopefully it doesn't, but if it does. Simi is certainly scoring. Is there anything else about the Darius now that you want him to take more of? You know, um, he's such a good passer, and um, you know he didn't have any assists, but he had some passes that could have been assists tonight. So I think his his vision on the floor on the floor is going to be key for us. Um, you know, we need some guys to create some shots for other guys, and he's definitely a player that has the potential to draw two guys to him and uh, and get some other guys some shots. Is that a work in progress for Saban too? Definitely. You know, I thought Saban made strides today. He didn't score as well as what he's been scoring it, but you know you could tell he's making conscious effort to try to get other players involved. And uh, I thought, uh, you know, he had a great floor game with no turnovers tonight, two steals, three assists, four rebounds. And, you know, he'll make those layups. If he missed three today, you know, if he makes those, he had, a, you know, a fantastic game. So um, we were really pleased with the strides he made from last game to this game at the point. Has the Drew family discussed the Texas Bowl yet? Uh, actually, my brother did call the day and, and discuss it. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to be cheering against each other for a Any family waiver? Uh, yeah. Friendly waiver? Uh, I, th I think we do have something going on. So <laughs> uh, we're working on it right now. We're making sure it's NCAA compliant. So, <laughs> so if it's NCAA compliant, then uh, we'll go through with it. So I'll wait and get it cleared, and then we can tell you. <laughs> Any more for Coach? Okay, thank you.